Okay, here it is, the video on the fret process and photosynthesis. And I say the forgotten step because it's not taught so much, especially in high school when you're living environment and so forth. When they're talking about photosynthesis, they just go right to the light independent stage, well, the light dependent stage, and then the Calvin cycle and so forth. But they forget about the fret process. So we'll talk about the fret process. There's the equation for it and down below over there. And it stands for uh, the Forster Resonance Energy Transfer. So let's let's write that down. All right, right, right over here. All right. So the Forster it has a little umlaut over there, that little German thing there, and resonance energy transfer. This is the step that has to happen before the light dependent stage. So in other words, just how energy, this whole process is how energy can be transformed, transferred, that is, between two molecules efficiently. In other words, in photosynthesis, the chlorophyll that's located in the chloroplasts, right, that organelle in the plant cell, it's going to absorb photons, sunlight, right? And well, let's get a picture of that. So we'll, we'll use yellow for the sun, the sunlight coming in. So those, those rays of fo those photons coming from the sun in all wavelengths, but especially red and, and blue, but they'll hate, um, they'll enter the chloroplasts and the chlorophyll, which is the pigment inside the chloroplasts, they'll absorb those photons, especially in the, the thylakoid membranes, which you see here, they, these little green, looks like cookies. So that's where they'll be absorbed. And once that happens in a simple term here is the protons will, they'll um, excite the electrons in the chlorophyll. That's what they're doing. So think of this as like an, a sugar rush. When you eat too much sugar, you know, you get this sugar rush. Well, that's what happens with the chlorophyll molecules, right? That they're going to absorb these protons and get energized. That's what happens in photosynthesis. So, you know, we'll just write it over here. A photon, you know, light, you know, photon from the sun. Obviously the sun, right? And it's going to be absorbed, will be absorbed. It's going to happen. Will be absorbed by chlorophyll. which is in this membrane, the thylakoid membrane in the chloroplasts. So we have what we, and again, this step, you know, you hear about this step when you're talking about in biology, in photosynthesis, you hear about that the photon will excite the uh, electrons in the chlorophyll. But there is a precursor to that, and this is what the Forster Residence Energy Transfer is, what FRET is, the FRET process. So once the electrons are energized, once they have this so much energy and they reach a higher energy state, and again, think of like a sugar rush, they will, this is what they, before the precursor, of course, is the FRET process, but what you're taught about in school is the light dependent stage, where it's depending on light, to bring this, these energy down the energy transport chain. But before these electrons can transfer energy across the transport chain, they need the FRET process. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So here's a better picture of it. So again, when you're hearing about photosynthesis, you know, in school, you'll learn about, again, the, the light dependent stage, which comes before the Calvin cycle. And this whole process is to make ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And so again, the photon is going to excite electrons and those uh, electrons in the chlorophyll will then pass on their energy in simple terms to carrier molecules, which are proteins and create ATP on the electron transport train, chain. But for that to happen, before that can happen with FRET and the FRET process, there's not enough energy. So what the FRET process is going to do in simple terms is boost that energy. 
for the light dependent stage to happen. So it needs in the fret process, put fret process again here. It's actually supposed to be capitalized, but let's not fret about that. It's a bad pun there. So we have a donor molecule, which is the chlorophyll. So we'll just say donor molecule. And again, when the when the photon, and we'll put we'll make it yellow, see if it comes out. The photon enters the donor molecule and brings that electron to a higher energy state. There's still not enough energy to create ATP for this whole thing to work. So it's like you, you need a boost, right? So a boost is needed. And so what will happen is the donor molecule will transfer energy again to an acceptor molecule. Of course, they don't look like eyes here that I'm, I'm making over there. So the donor molecule, energy will transfer to the acceptor molecule. And there's that boost. And let's, let's make sure we write acceptor over here, the acceptor molecule. So again, the let's use well, we'll use blue. Let's use blue for the electron. Let's just say so. The electron in the donor molecule, the chlorophyll, will get excited and reach a higher energy level, and it will move to the acceptor, and of course, cause more energy. And that acceptor molecule will then enter the electron transport train. And this is where the first stage of photosynthesis in the light dependent stage, they're depending on light. Right? So the electron transport stage, right? So if you think about a relay race, you know, when you, you know, we'll have a person here, a person there, and a, you know, and they're just sending the baton to each other, right? So think of that baton going to each other. But in this case, though, the baton gets energy transferred. More and more energy is transferred. So again, FRET was a precursor to the electron on the light-dependent stage where ATP is finally made with the plant needs to make glucose and more ATP. All right, that's our video today.